In the last video, we talked about a census. In this video, we're going to cover some examples of a census to get a better understanding of this thing. Let's get started. Now let's go through the most obvious example that we can use. The U.S. Census. It's called a census because the U.S. is trying to sample the entire population. It's actually trying to account for every single person that lives within the United States territory. But it's actually not a census, and let me explain why. There are a lot of people that live in the United States that are not U.S. citizens. In fact, they might be illegal immigrants. And if that's the case, then they might not want to reveal themselves to the U.S. government because they might feel like they're giving away their location and that might risk, put them at risk for de deportation. And unfortunately, that's kind of a fair and reasonable response because considering the government today, that is typically what they do is they take information like that and use that to deport people. And so there are people who do not participate in the census. Therefore, this is actually not a census, but it's important to understand why that is. So again, this is a really good example that a lot of people use as a census, but it's not completely a census. So let's go through something that actually is a census. Suppose you wanted to calculate the average grade of a test in a classroom. Well, this would be considered a parameter because it's a measure of an attribute of the entire classroom, your entire population. But it's actually also a statistic because most people calculate or guess that parameter by taking everyone's test and computing the average. Most teachers don't just take 10 students, compute the average of those 10 students and say, well, this is probably what the average of my classroom is. Most teachers just take the entire population as their sample and compute a statistic slash parameter. They're both the same, same thing in this instance because your sample is the population. Let's go through another example of a census. Suppose I conducted a survey about the quality of a professor. Well, these surveys are generally given out to every single student, and it's recommended that every student responds. But this is not a case where you just pick 10 students randomly and then see whether or not they like the professor. Most really good surveys and most really good professors like to take a survey of the entire class. So that's an example of taking your population as your sample. Anyways, thanks so much and I'll see you in the next lecture. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.